even though it shouldn't be there, and we will possibly get a bad ruling, and then we'll get another bad ruling, and then we'll end up in the Supreme Court, and hopefully we'll get a fair shake, and we'll win in the Supreme Court, just like the ban. They sued us in the Ninth Circuit, and we lost, and then we lost in the appellate division, and then we went to the Supreme Court, and we won. It was rather musical, wasn't it? The way he kept uh, the, the way he, he, he kept going with that. Um, later on in that same speech, he was referring to his own brilliance in forest, foreign policy and said, and they said Trump is crazy. We just heard some music in there, and specifically uh, Jack Morris did one of our engineers and put this together. Sue, circuit, ruling, ruling, court. Shake, court, ban, circuit, lost, division, court, won, and we will then be sued, bad ruling, the ban, and we won, and people said, Trump is crazy. It's never over. The obvious question is, what President Trump's trying to achieve here, why does he... Why, why did he speak like this at this moment? Is, is there is there is there sort of a rhyme in his uh, rhyme in his reason here? Cara uh, Cara uh, Chaparis is an American accent coach. Um, that, that kind of intonation he was using there. What what what's what's that all about? Um, it's very sing song. It's not typical. Um, so it's his own idiosyncratic way of communicating. It sounds more like when you're trying to remember something, so you put it to a tune, the way children might sing ABCs or something. OK, and but the, you say it's not, typical, it's not necessarily typical of him. He's using it here to sort of get him through the rhythm of the whole thing. But there is this thing that, that sort of a lot of our kids do here, where you where you... You, your, your intonation goes up at the end of every sentence. I'm never quite sure. Is that an American or is that an Australian sort of origin? Um, it, it can. Ha it has both uh, Australian origins and also um, Valley Girl origins from the 1980s. I think it's while it's not a typical way for most Americans to speak, it could be a typical way for Trump to kind of sing things. And he does return to certain themes and kind of sing them, whether it be Build the Wall or Chain Migration so or the Ninth Circuit, which is his other um, big vendetta. And he just sings them out. And I would say that's a Trump typical thing. And those up endings, it's because, yeah, he's lifting off into a between be between singing and speaking. So accent isn't as big of, of a signifier of class in the States as it is here, is it? Can you, what are the telltale signs of class? Of what, what class uh, you're from, what your socioeconomic backgrounds are in the, in American accents? Yeah, I mean, it, on the Northeast, like in New York and Boston, you will have working class accents more than you will have in the rest of the country just because they're older cities. And he does have a Queens, New York accent. Court, shake, court, ban. Circuit, laws, division, court, one. Uh, and we will then be sued, they had ruling, the ban, and we won. And people said, Trump is crazy. Never over. All right, Adrian and I wait.